Hey, Benny Fish. It's March 11th, 311, 2018. And uh, the spirit is on fire. I woke up with this uh, thought, vision, if you will, of the Temple Mount, the Ark of the Covenant. Um, and so I just kind of dove into a study on the Ark, on the blood, primarily the blood of Jesus what the blood represents pretty much everybody is familiar with what the blood represents however when the ark of the covenant just basically disappeared i mean it can't be found after the time of uh, nebuchadnezzar's sacking of jerusalem there there's no mention of it and no sign of it since that point and so I'm trying to figure out where does it play into the whole end time scenario because I know it does because it's been put upon me and so I'm just reading and studying and reading and praying and you know I come across a few key verses that really do kind of show it in in my interpretation when it talks about how he was born he was he came by water and blood not just by water only now that's important that's that's kind of a different little study there but nonetheless we we all know that when a woman gives birth her water breaks and in the blood and he came by water and blood but don't forget that this earth in creation he separated the waters above from the waters below so anything that comes from heaven has to come through the water okay I'll just leave it at that but he came by water and blood in the flesh and this is what Mr. Ron Wyatt speaks of, the blood of Christ on the mercy seat of the ark, which he claims to have found under Golgotha where Christ was crucified. Okay, and if you're not familiar with all this, I don't know how to really show it to you other than he was pierced on the crucifix, his blood went down into the ground as the earth earthquake occurred, and his blood and the water went down into the crack and onto a secret chamber where the Ark of the Covenant had been placed some 580 some odd years prior to that. And when he was crucified, the blood fell down onto the mercy seat of the Ark of God. Okay? And that is the witness. There are three that bear witness in earth, the spirit and the water and the blood and these three agree in one again the spirit is the key to all of this because the spirit is truth and if you are truly seeking the truth if you love the truth you will find the truth but I must tell you if you're not looking at uh, for it through Jesus Christ you're not gonna find the truth I'm sorry okay he that believeth on the Son of God hath the witness in himself he that believeth not, God hath made him a liar, because he believeth not the record that God gave of his son, which is quite extensive, the written record, the proof of his existence, everything, okay? And this is the record that God hath given us, eternal life, and this, the life is in his son. The life in humans is in the blood. Do you understand? It's all about the blood. And when we read in Hebrews 9, it's very interesting because he's talking about the Old Covenant and how they would perform the ordinances and services in the sanctuary, in the worldly sanctuary. The tabernacle made the first, wherein the candlestick and all the things. The second veil, where the tabernacle, the holiest of all, which had the golden censer, the Ark of the Covenant, overlaid round about with gold, wherein was the golden pot that had manna, and Aaron's rod that budded, and the tables of the covenant, and over it the cherubims of glory, shadowing the mercy seat, of which we cannot now speak particularly. That one line right there just speaks volumes to me, because I believe in God's perfect way that ark disappeared and stayed disappeared, for his purposes until his ordained time and this man found it and has set the stage if you will for its revealing and when it is 
this world will experience a revival like never seen. That is my personal belief and understanding and hope. Okay, and there'll be other elements. There'll be elements of these Jews that say they are Jews but are not that will want to take that ark and build their temple and put it in the Holy of Holies because, you know, they just don't understand. But they will. And many, many will convert once this is revealed. Okay, this is just my belief. This is how I see it. There's a reason they put this verse of scripture in here that he bare record of piercing his side and came out blood and water. And his record is true. And he knoweth that he say true, that ye might believe. Okay? It's all about the blood. And so what I was led to do one more time here is go to the old date calculator. And when I brought that date of his discovery of the ark, which was January 6, 1982, and what I did was brought it up to the 19th of December of last year. Why? Because some extremely important things happened in Jerusalem, on the Temple Mount, in the Temple Mount, in the wall, on that day, the end of Hanukkah. They consecrated and dedicated this temple, this synagogue, in the Western Wall, under the Holy of Holies, and they have their own Ark of their own covenant made with their own hands, not ordained by God, okay? And at the same time that they did this and opened this up on the 19th, bam, this is a big deal, folks. For the first time in 2,000 years, they recreated the temple incense burning on the same night as this, the end of Hanukkah. From that point, okay, to that point, from the discovery of the Ark, it was 13,131 days. And the way that I've been interpreting these things, folks, this 13 is the rebellion, which is manifesting itself into the physical realm. This, this rebellion has been going on since the beginning. The fallen ones, the Nephilim, has been a primarily spiritual war forever the entirety of humanity, but now it is manifesting into the physical because the world is fallen, because they have forgotten God. You understand? Thirteens and elevens, the eleven, the transition, the change, the chaos, the thirteen, the rebellion, that right to the nineteenth, right to that day. And from that day, this I'll wrap this up with that, with this. From that day, to the first of Nisan, the first day of 5778, 88 days, which is also 2,112 hours. So, the 17th is a key date. I just know that this ark is slated for revelation. That's what my spirit's telling me. And I asked for confirmation. I asked like three times. And the first time, it's crazy. I said, God, if this is really, is this what I'm supposed to talk about? Because I don't fully understand it. And, and I just took my big Bible here, and I literally just flopped it and just made sure that there was no way that I could even guess at where it would land. And it landed right on 1 Samuel, chapter 4. And in the third verse, it talks about where the Israelites are getting smacked down by the Philistines. So they say, let us fetch the Ark of the Covenant unto us. And they go get it, and they still get whipped. And there's a big lesson in that. And the other two confirmations, for me, just sewed it up lock, stock, and barrel. I asked just random Bible verses. I hit these things once and only once. It's God's will. Whatever comes up, that's what it is. So I ask him for confirmation. Am I seeing what you're showing me and am I interpreting it the right way are we at this time where all these things are converging we're, we're seeing the rebellion of the fallen ones manifest all around us and, and we're seeing this huge transition and we know that we're close is this what I'm seeing father is the art going to be revealed and please just you know give me some more confirmation and so I hit the random bible verse and the first one that comes up 
is 1 Peter 3, 10 through 13. And just the numbers alone, just the numbers alone, 13, 13, 11 in there, just blew my socks off. I know that this is the time we're in. Most of us do. But it is like so upon us, folks. I just can't even put it to words. I can't. And I asked for one more. This was this was the final nail, let's say. No pun intended. But look what he gave me. John 10, verses 10 and 11. 11, 11. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd giveth his life for the sheep. And what are we talking about? The blood of Christ. He giveth his life for his sheep. Un believable and it beareth witness the blood the water and the spirit that's just crazy so this is what i'm seeing and so this is what i'm sharing with you you know i believe it to be extremely relevant and when this is brought forth to the world i think it's going to create a huge awakening a huge revival as well as some counter action to that of course but if you're with God, who can be against you? It's that simple. So I needed to share that with you. And I hope I got that out in a uh, understandable manner. And uh, that you all are having a great Sunday. And I wish peace and grace to you all. Keep looking up, folks. Keep praying because the time is here. We are in the end of time as we know it. And you need to know Christ. You just do. Seek him diligently, humbly. And he'll send you the Holy Spirit. Peace and grace to y'all. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, 